Hi, my lovelies. I hope you're all well. So today we are on iOS, which is iPad or iPhone. And I'm going to show you how you can bring in JPEG and PNG images into Design Space. And we're going to do this two ways. One way is by using your photo library. And the other way is by downloading your JPEG or your PNG as a file. So I've got an image here, which is from a free clip art site. It is personal use only. I'm gonna use this picture first of all, and it's gonna be a JPEG. So I'm just going to hold down on it and add it to my photos. That will then go into my photos. I can then open Design Space up. Now, with a JPEG and a PNG, they are flat, one-dimensional images. So they have a background, or JPEG has a background, PNG 99.9% of the time doesn't, but they are one-dimensional. It's just a flat image like a photo. So we can go to Upload, and we're going to select from Photo Library. We're going to click our image, which in this case is a JPEG, and you'll see in the screen here, it's just a black square. It's just black. That's because we have to remove the white, or sometimes it's other colors, but most of the time it's white. We have to remove the white background. So if I click on the Remove tool, if I click on the screen here, And here, and here, and here, you'll see that I then create the silhouette. So I've removed the outside of the image to create the silhouette. But actually, I want to go further because I want the lines of the image. Like, I want to see it's a lion. So now, if I use my fingers to zoom in, I can click on the white inside of the lion, and you can see on the square where I'm starting to take away the pieces of the background. And you can also change the slider. So you can reduce down the amount that you're removing of an item. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave it like that. We can then go to next. And I can also kind of clean it up a little bit. So I can despeckle it like so. And I can also choose to smooth the lines. And the more I hit smooth, the thicker they become. And go to next. And I can then save as a cut or a print and cut. So we're just going to save it as a cut and call it lion and save. And then insert. And that is then our JPEG. Now we can cut that. But it's still a single layer. It's a single layer file. The other option we've got is that we can bring in PNGs. So PNGs are single layer flat, one-dimensional images with the background already removed. And we can either save them to our photos like we've just done, or we can save them to our files, depending on where you get them from. So I'm going to select Download. And you'll see it says, do I want to download, which I do. And you'll see at the top here, we've got a circle with an arrow, and that is downloading our file. I can then click on that and then I can open up the file, which is currently zipped. So if I click on the zip, it will then produce the folder for me. If I open up the folder, you can see we've got different types of files. So if we look at this first one here, we've got ain't no daddy. That is the PNG. We've then got the next file, which is DXF. 
We've then got the next file, which has got two windows on it, which is the SVG, which we're going to look at in another video. And then the next one is EPS. With Design Space, you're mainly working with JPEG, PNG and SVG. So we want the PNGs from this folder. If you're ever unsure where your files are, if you go to your home screen, you'll find that you have got an icon for files. And you can go to downloads and then they'll be in there. So this time I'm going to go to upload, but I'm going to browse files. We can see that we've got the PNG version and then the version with the two squares, which is the SVG. So those are both available to us. We're going to select the PNG and we're going to select but first milk. And the background, as we can see, is already removed for us. It's already there. It's done for us. So we can go to next. And then next again. And the difference is with a PNG, because it's a flat image, where the SVG has got the red of the hearts, the PNG won't have that. We can create those. We can, we can make them red. But we have to physically create multiple layers. PNG and JPEG will just come in as a single layer. And go to next again. We can choose print and cut or cut. I'm going to do cut and then we can just call it milk and save. And then again, we can select it and insert to our canvas. And there we go. That is how you bring in JPEG and PNG on an iPad or an iPhone for iOS. I hope this has been helpful. Don't forget to leave any comments or questions below. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 7pm and they are all premieres. So you'll be able to join me for the live chat. So if you're watching at the premiere, come and join me in the live chat. I'll answer any questions you've got. And if you're watching at an alternative time, then please do ask any questions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, give the video a thumbs up. It's free to do and it really helps me out. So thank you so much. As always, thank you for joining me and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!